Hey guys, Felix here. Today I decided to make a video talking about one of my favorite comps in 5.4 called KF Chi. I'm going to be talking about how to run this comp effectively as a Windwalker Monk, stuff that you need to look out for, as well as some tips and tricks that should help you run this comp effectively. So let's get started guys and hope this helps. First things first, let's talk about what KF Chi is actually composed of. KF Chi is composed of a Windwalker Monk, a Hunter, and a Healer. The healer that I would actually suggest taking for KFG is a Disc Priest. The reason for this is because a lot of their CC doesn't DR with any of your CC. And some of the CC that you put out as a One Walker Monk does DR with Hunter CC, like Scatter Traps. Now that we have discussed what this comp is made of, let's briefly go over what the healer and the hunter's job is versus other comps and arenas. Let's first start off with the hunter. Hunters are crazy in patch 5.4. They have a ton of pressure and damage that they can constantly put out. Their main target for CC is the healer. The reason why the hunters are actually put on the healers is because their traps can be dispelled by a healer. Paralysis cannot be dispelled by a healer, so it's actually better to actually paralysis a DPS as a Windwalker Monk. Keep in mind guys, that your Paralysis and the Scatter Trap will DR with each other. So if you do happen to CC the healer with the Paralysis, make sure you call it out in advance, because a good Hunter will know when a Scatter Trap is actually up and off DR. Now I'm going to talk about how to communicate with your Hunter really briefly. So in this match, what happened was the Hunter actually tried to go for a Scatter Trap on the healer. And what happened was the druid ate it. So the hunter saw that the druid was eating it, he called that out, so I knew that he was the healer was not gonna get trapped, so what I would do is I would go over and paralysis him. So situations like that you need to be aware of, and it's good communication is always vital, especially in arenas, so make sure you guys practice that. It's very important. Now here's a replay with actually us talking in the background with Skype commentary. DK's bursting dude. Stunning the priest. Alright. Training that, trapping the priest trigger. Can you try and make it fear what I'm gonna eat it? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna right paralysis, I'm gonna paralysis the priest. Full paralysis, dude. No, he's trying to get it, he's trying to get it. Alright, pushed him for fear. Now let's talk about your healer. The healer's main CC target would be the opposing healer. If you can also get CC on other targets with a huge psychic scream, it's always helpful. However, the main target for CC is the opposing healer. Make sure communication is vital guys, so if you can call out when you're getting a huge psychic scream, it allows the other DPS in your party to look for CC opportunities. So if someone gets feared behind a pillar, you can paralysis or trap him behind the pillar and that can be a kill opportunity right there. Now let's go on to our role as a Windwalker Monk. Our job as a Windwalker Monk, talk about strategy and what to look out for. First off, our main CC target is the DPS that we are currently none on. At the same time, it's also great to try to land cross CC whenever possible. A great example of cross CC as a Windwalker Monk is right here. So we're just hammering the Pharaoh right now. He's taking a ton of damage and he's about to die. I see him passing the Priest, so I blink and silence him. The Pharaoh pops Dispersion. And then I see the Warriors pop Wreck. So the Priest and Warrior are right next to each other, so I get them in a quick Fist of Fury to shut down the Warrior's cooldowns. Right after that, I Paralysis the Priest and go behind him for a longer Paralysis, and we end up killing the Pharaoh. Just keep mindful of your surrounding guys. Good CC and cross CC takes practice, but if you practice enough, you can always get better at it. Make sure to always call out whenever you're cross CCing because you never know if like the hunter's gonna try trapping something, it will DR, so make sure you always call out your CCs. Now that we've briefly discussed the basics of what each person's role is in this comp, like CCing, let's break down some of the arena footage that I've took from 5.4 and talk about strategies and what to look for as one walker monk running this comp. The main strategy that I found that works against most comps in patch 5.4 as KF Chi is not to pop anything in the beginning. The way that monks are right now and in patch 5.4, you can deal a significant amount of pressure without popping any major offensive cooldowns. So in the beginning of the match, I have my hunter pop mostly all his offensive cooldowns to try to put out as much pressure as he can and try to force as many defenses as he can while I put out good pressure with good cross CC on the DPS. Now, what our goal is, guys, is to force as many defensive cooldowns as possible, while at the same time stacking as much Tiger's Eye Brew for Burst, so we can set up good kill opportunities. That actually brings us to our next subject, which is kill opportunities, so let's briefly talk about this. By landing good cross CC on the DPS and countering pressure, you slowly stack up your Tiger's Eye Brew. 
The way Monk Burst is in patch 5.4, you basically are like a Shadow Priest stacking orbs except you hit much, much harder. So as soon as you know that you have forced defensives, you're basically ready to go ham. There's a few things to look out for before you pop all your cooldowns though. Before you pop Burst, make sure you call that out to your Hunter and Priest so they know that you actually have Burst set up. The reason for this is because you need to make sure that stuff like a Hunter Scatter Trap is off of DR, as well as trying to make sure that the opposing team does not have trinkets up. This is going to give you guys an example about landing good cross CC on other teammates and setting up a good kill opportunity right here. So right now I'm almost at burst, I'm at 14 Tigers I brew, I'm calling that out, getting a paralysis on the druid is because he's been eating the priest scatter traps all arena. So I'm about to pop burst, I'm calling it out, I'm going to get rid of the spirit shells because the priest is stacking spirit shells, we can get the priest in a full trap right here and I get 187k crit on the DK and we just global him. And after that, we can get a full fear on the priest. Th their trinkets were down, and we could get them in full CCs. Remember guys, always communicate when you're about to burst. You should never pop burst willy nilly, because if you do that, and the opposing team has their trinkets, or they have a lot of defensives, you're probably not going to be able to secure a kill, no matter how much damage you do. So make sure you always communicate whenever you're about to burst, so you know stuff is off of DR, and you can land good cross CC. And this has been the basics for running KFG guys. I really love this comp, this is an amazing, fun comp to play in patch 5.4, so I urge you guys to check it out. This is basically the basics, if you guys want me to go over specific comps when versing these comps and arenas as KFG, make sure you just leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to make it. Make sure you subscribe to ASB Sounds, and also, make sure you guys tune into the stream. I have a blast streaming guys, and I love communicating with you guys. So if you guys just want to hang out, I try to stream around 7.30pm Eastern Time to around 3.30am Eastern Time. Right now, I'm eventually going to be streaming all day because I really love it. I really love communicating with you guys. So make sure you just hop in there, say hi in chat. Look forward to seeing you there and look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.